Hey guys, we got the transit set up now. We've got our field, our leach field dug. We're going to see how level we've got it and how much more we've got to dig out of it. I'm going to get Wanda to hold this uh, stick in each corner and across the middles just to see where we're at with this hole we've got dug because it's got to be level. Hold it up straight. Stick it away from you. Hold it up straight. Five foot eight and a half. Okay. Right there. Just in the middle. Five foot six and a half. So we're an inch lower there. Okay. All the way to the back corner. Right there. Keep it way away from you. Come on. Right there. Five, five and a half. So we are. Higher there than we are on the other end. Okay. Five, seven and a half. We're closer there. Five, nine. Five, nine. Up there. Five, ten and a half. Okay. Five, eleven and a half. So, basically, I got to cut the upper side down some. The bottom side is good. I got to take away from the upper side. Okay guys, we've got our hole dug here. Uh, we've got sand all in the bottom of it. Got it leveled in like it's supposed to be. Got it shot with a transit. We've got our connector. We're gonna be putting in six inch sock pipe because that's what septics need. Um, we're gonna be tying to a piece of four inch PVC out of the ground here. This is a PVC adapter to a piece of six inch pipe. And it has a high side and a low side. This side goes against the ground. It just sticks over and snaps on. Got these little ears in there that snap. And then we've got the sock pipe. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the sock back up over this. And I'm going to tape this right here. We're going to pull the top sock back on this end. This is going to go over the pipe. This is going to slide into here. Guys, this stuff comes in a roll and it is kind of all kinked up. Okay guys, we've got all of our sock pipe in. It took 75 foot of sock pipe to do this manifold system with, which should be more than enough for what we're doing. Um, we have nothing but our toilet running in here. The gray water goes out to water other things. So I think this will be plenty sufficient. 
Oh, we're going to make a little quick connection right here with some tape. And guys, we're ready to cover this baby up with sand, and we'll be ready to rock and roll with our toilet system. Okay, okay guys, we got it finished. We got all the sand dumped in here. We got the pipe completely covered with sand. We got about eight to 10 inches of sand in here. So now we fix to put our cover on top of it, our fabric, and then we're gonna put our dirt on top of that and we're gonna have it done. Okay guys, we've had some row cover fabric for our garden, like for frost protection. We had a piece left over that was just the right size. So we put it on here and um, going to work good because water can pass through it but it kind of gives that distinction between the soils so um, we're going to start covering it up now Okay, guys. We're in the bathroom in the cabin. Uh, we're trying. We've got all the outside part installed out there now. We're trying to come in here uh, and install the toilet. So what we're doing. This is just makeshift until we get our tile. We're going to try to go ahead and get the toilet set where we can be using it um, until we get the floor tiled. And we get the ready to floor, tile the floor. We'll come up, we'll take this back up, take the toilet back up, clean the wax ring off, and we'll just uh, tile it and then set it back on it. This is what you do when you, when you have to make do. All right. Closet bolts. They have an oblong shaped head on them. They made to slide in these grooves right here. Let's see if I can get my and then come down. That way when you go to tighten them down, the it turns crossways on it. Now when you get this thing set, what you want to do is you want to take your tape measure. You want to measure against the back wall. Now the standard toilet is supposed to be 12 inches off the wall. We went 13 because we're going to be putting um, three-quarter inch siding on the walls. And that gives us, once we get these set at 13, and we have them set, we're going to go get our wax ring. Now we're just putting a temporary wax ring in here right now. The wax ring will go on the bottom of the toilet, and then we're going to pick it up, and we're going to just set it on the hole. Now we're going, when we do the tile... We're going to go back with a wax ring that's called a cant leak. It has a plastic insert in it that goes down inside this pipe so that there's never a chance of this thing leaking. But this is a temporary setup with just a plain wax ring. Okay, guys, the wax rings, they always come kind of malformed and everything like that. But what you do is you take this wax ring and you basically just stick it right here. Now, like I said, I'm not crazy about these kind of wax rings. I would rather have... The other type, I kind of form it because see the problem is is it's not going to want to stick. So 
I'm hoping it'll stay there just long enough for me to get this thing up. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it will. You gotta be very easy with the toilet. Can't do any bumping. Okay, guys, we have these pieces here that's supposed to go on permanently. They go on underneath the toilet there, but we're saving them so that when we put the toilet down permanently, um, I'll have them to stick over the bolts to make sure they don't slide around and move. Um, so we're going to save those. We're going to put them back in the pack because this is just a temporary setup here until we get the tile and everything taken care of. What we're going to do is... We're not even going to put the plastic caps over them or anything because it's all got to come back up off of there. We're just going to put the washer and the nut because this is all just temporary. Okay, guys, this is one place here. You do not want to over tighten this because if you do, you can break the toilet. I just snug mine down. I do not over tighten. Okay. All right, guys. We've got our temporarily installed. We're going to go get some of rain, uh, Wanda's uh, rain water outside. She's been catching in five gallon buckets. We're going to pour it in the toilet and we're going to. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's raining outside right now, and which is great because it's helping us to supply extra water. And you see the spot I was telling you about here, the distance behind here? When we get our walls on everything, we'll be able to, uh, our toilet can move back just a little bit more because the flange will allow that. And uh, we're going to be able to put that thing back against the wall like it's supposed to be. So, And guys, this is a handicap elongated toilet. We wanted one because the older we get, it's harder to stand up when your legs get weak, when you get older. So we decided in the cabin to go ahead and put the elongated handicap one. The handicap one is taller than a standard toilet. So, um, and we'll may, we're probably going to change the lid out because this is just a contractor's grade cheap lid. We may get a lid that's got the opening in the front here. I don't know just yet. Uh, but that's down the road. Right now, we're just looking for a place to be able to go to the bathroom while we're at the cabin. See, they got dirt all over. Yeah. This is how you wash dishes and stuff in the rain. Got rain, water, dirt is splattered up on our buckets here. All right. Making sure it don't leak. Okay, we're good to go for the moment. Looks like it's holding all right. Well, I guess now's the time to see if it's going to flush.
flushed just like it was supposed to. Just didn't have enough water in it to bring it back up. That's so good. So it flushed. So that's how you flush an off-grid toilet. Yep. That's how you flush an off-grid toilet. All right, guys. I don't see no water coming out around the sides here. Looks like we're good. Deep South Homesteads, Candy Corn Cabin, now has a toilet and a septic system. So thank you guys for watching and learning that, hey, you don't even have to have water hooked to a toilet to be able to flush it. As long as you have a system to put it into that's sanitary, you can take the old trusty five-gallon bucket, pour it in there, and flush your toilet. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.